Hi, I'm Tara. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a cutout text effect. So let's get started. The word I'm going to use is cutout, but you can pick whatever, whatever word suits your project. So we're just going to add a text box. So if you hit on text and click add a text box, or you can hit T on your keyboard, it will bring you to the same result. So we're just going to make that a bit bigger. And we're going to type the word cut out. So we're going to make it a bit bigger and we're going to change the font to League Spartan because it's kind of chunky and it works quite well. So we obviously we want them all on the one line. So that's pretty good, 157. So it's important that all of um, all of the layers are the same size. So the first thing we're going to do after we've typed that, so I'm going to make it yellow, but I don't want it as dark as that. I want to kind of that one there is pretty okay. Okay, so I'm just going to position it so it is center middle. So you can do that by hitting position and in a range, you just hit both of them middle and center. So mine already is, and that's why they're grayed out. So I'm just going to make it edge to edge as well. So now we're going to generate the next layer. So we're going to duplicate this page. And then we are going to, I'm just going to add a background because sometimes it's, uh, well, it's totally impossible to see when we change the color of it. So we're going to select this and we're going to make it white. And then we're going to change the effects at the top and we're going to make it hollow. And we're going to make the thickness five. So it's just a kind of fine, fine outline. Um, but it's enough definition for us to be able to um, export it out. So I'm just going to make the background a bit darker actually. And then we go up to share, click on download, and you just need to make sure that we're on the right page. So we want page two selected and we want transparent background on and click on download. And then we click on uploads, click on upload files, And then once it's in, we can go back to this page and actually upload it onto this page. Now you need to make it back to the same size that it was. And we'll just reduce these down so we have access to the back. And then when we color that, you should be able to see. So there it is there. So then we're going to do the same again, except this time we're going to make the outline a dark grey and then we just need to change this background to white and we're going to do the same thing again we're going to download it and we're still on page two transparent background download but this time it's a darker one and then once again we're going to upload upload files And then we go back to our first page again and we upload the dark one. So again, we can't, um, we just need to make it again the same size. So they're all the same size. And just reduce this down and up. And it's just that it's the same color as the background. So we're just going to change that just so we can see the three of them. So now we have so now we have the yellow, we have white and we have a dark. So because these are now these two are now images, we can click on edit photo. And within this edit photo area, we're going to click on shadows. And the one we're going to pick is a drop shadow. So you it immediately generates a drop shadow, but to me it's a bit um it's a bit far away. And so we're just going to adjust them slightly. So we're going to change the size to three. And then the blur amount, we're going to leave at 20. The angle, we're going to change to 70. The distance, we're going to change to 20. We're going to leave the color black. And then the intensity, we're just going to reduce it down to 40. So it's just a slight shadow now. 
but it, it's still pretty effective then when we join them all together. So then in the darker one, we're going to do the same thing. <clears throat> we're going to make this 3, 20, 70, 20, and 40. And now we're going to layer them on top of each other. So the easiest way to layer them on top of each other is actually go to the layers. So we're going to go position and we're going to click on layers. And the the one at the very back, we want to be the darkest one. And then we're going to move the yellow. And then the white one, we want it to be the top layer. So then basically, all we have to do is move them all on top of each other and they should all sit perfectly you might have to just slightly readjust them find when sometimes when you add a shadow the the size of them changes slightly um, but you can use your arrows just to move them up and down and then because they're all on top of each other now they're kind of difficult to um, select out so we're just going to move that down slightly and then the white one we just need to make sure that it's on top so then we're just going to select them all and increase the size of it and we're just going to change the color of this it's a bit light to a kind of dark teal and there it is. I think it's pretty effective. It stands out pretty good. Um, you can kind of get the impression that it is a cutout. If you've learned something new today, please hit that like and subscribe.